Okay, I'm uh, going to do a little video. A few people have asked to see some of the features. Something a little better than a picture. So, what you got is a 91 P42 wide body, 10 foot box, step van, Chevrolet, uh, similar to a P30 but has heavier rear ends and front end under it with 10 bolt wheels normally used for a camper so it'll haul extra load and no worry about anything underneath going bad uh, also runs four wheel disc unlike a lot of dualies uh, we've got Sliding windows tinted. Um, all the windows I installed with a gasket instead of clamping style so that I could use this chrome trim. A little more decorative. Uh, exterior venting of the refrigeration and freezer unit to keep the heat out of the truck. I've lowered it five inches and adjusted the springs for the weight of the freezer. I've added a heat shield in between the floor and the exhaust system which I run on the outside of the frame so the floor wouldn't get hot like it used to. Has a muffler from a mid 2000 Chevrolet pickup, a takeoff muffler. Uh, 220 receptacle comes with it. I did not wire it for 220 yet, but I did put the receptacle in, and there's a conduit that runs clear to the top where I was going to put the breaker box. Uh, two of the back windows have screens on them. This one does not, but does open. I had to remove the screen because the window inside, uh, sorry, the door inside slides too close. Uh, get a back view here. See lots of lighting, so when you stop, lights up high, lights down low, added stainless trim, and this is your overnight plug. Plug in 110 to run your, your refrigeration. Has greasable door locks. So you don't have to worry about the door slamming back on you when you're when you're backing up to load. Uh, has a lockable water service. So you can hook in a pressurized water line or you can pour fill your tank. Some people require that to be lockable. One of the leftover signs or decals from when this was a mobile Harley service truck. And down here I've got a 110 four plug box to hook the refrigeration into. And that's plumb to the outside. Uh, the freezer is this. I bought this out of New York, had it shipped in. It's a seven foot Nelson coal plate freezer. And this is a beverage air, roughly a 42, but it's got about 36 inches usable space in it. Got three bay sink with a separated hand wash sink uh, roughly 23 or 4 gallons of sewage and 20 gallons of water in behind complete with separate traps so there's no odor coming back to the sink also vent pipe goes right outdoor so there's no chance of odor coming back from your drains. 
um, hot water. I think this should be live now. Wrong one. Those porch lights. That runs your pump. Hot water is automatic, though it does have a switch. As soon as you turn the hot water on, the pump starts running. And it's warm, but not hot above it. So we left it vented inside, and we always just leave the roof vent open. And that's barely touchable. It's so hot already. And run that with just a Coleman propane tank. Very convenient. And for what little washing we do here with hot water, that's more than enough. Uh, put in a regular 14 inch vent like you'd have in a camper with a little tiny fan. Um, while this was apart, I also reinforced the roof to accept an AC unit like would be on a camper that would run 110. Um, I have one that comes with it. You're welcome to have. Um, while we're on the roof, uh, fire extinguishers go with. Uh, I've got nine LED lights in here. Let's fire them on though it's not very dark. Uh, right. As you can see, tons of lighting in here for nighttime work and the LED lights last forever on the battery. It has two batteries up front and usually you can work two, three, sometimes four hours running the porch lights and the interior lights without starting the truck. And I've wired this so you can separate out your accessory uh, and you can watch your voltage. So you know if it gets down to ten and a half volts you can start the truck up and recharge. Uh, second fire extinguisher up here with a mount so there's no chance of it falling on your head while you're driving. We got a separate fuse box for a bunch of the electrical I added. Backup camera. Very handy to have in a big truck. Actual mileage. We redid the dash, completely removed it, sandblasted and painted the color of the truck and I soda blasted all the aluminum inside as someone had gotten a little crazy with the house paint. Um, also I've added a reverse seat from a Suburban. It's leather. Very comfortable to sit in while you're working. Uh, also seat belts and great for traveling. We usually work this truck with three people, two kids and my wife driving, sometimes more than that. Uh, sometimes we even set up a folding chair. Uh, this is a custom window I built. It's a sliding unit, it's plexiglass, it has its own track, so any water that runs in here drain tube. Um, this here is for traveling. You can just pop that off. And I do that. When you're driving really fast and it's windy, this will flap around a bit. Uh, it's got a lockable pin. It locks back in a few different spots. And rolls back, finishes off nice and easy, nice and even. Goes back in behind the sink. And there's a nice drip here, it sticks down so any of the water just runs out or can run back into that drain. locks that easy. Have a stainless steel on-demand hot water heater. Uh, a little more of the plumbing. 
and it's set up to drain in the winter and usually we just drain everything off and you can see right now it's got some pink RV water cooling in it or antifreeze I guess uh, I changed this truck over from dual wheel to single wheel that's why you've got so much foot room it sets the freezer back and makes walking around in here tons of room not like a lot of the regular vans we went and looked at that were very narrow and hard to uh, hard to move around in you pretty much had room for one person to work the truck there's a cooler there's a freezer I had it running a while ago so I could get pictures of what it would freeze down to and I've put those in the ads Look it down to almost 35 below at one point damp days it'll it'll peak a little colder than normal normally it's around 20 or 25 below It's a very rugged countertop, runs full length. It's about 11 feet there, I believe, 10 something. And lots of room up top for another shelf. Um, I have one all bent up that you are welcome to have with it. And I think that's about it for in here. Also, this, uh, this seat folds down and pops out so that you can access the doghouse to get to the engine to service that. Uh, exit this door. And up here we got a... I forget the name, I think it's an Alico, I believe the company is. Um, it's a... 10 foot long, 8 foot canopy and it comes with an extra canvas top for some reason there's kids walking through our yard that's what you get for living on the corner uh, we have a product sign I made onto the truck comes apart our soda sign we velcro on this here is trapped in plastic so you slide it out stick on what you want it slide it back in and it's trimmed out nice Three porch lights. This is a crank up porch light, stainless mirrors, all new glass. Tires are good. Engine compartment. Uh, put a new radiator in it, water pump. Uh, put a new distributor in it and a new uh, master cylinder and I've put a new transmission cooler in it things that sit a long time sure have some odd parts go bad on them <coughs> truck is 47,000 right now I added a chrome bumper and that's about it If you have any other questions, give me a message. I'll leave at the bottom. Thank you.